So, you know, we mathematicians are not different. You know, we like things because, well, you know, maybe as a child or something, you know, we had a fun experience uh, doing something. And if you think about it, you sort of recognize why you like something later on. In my case, it's very clear that the, the mathematical things I work with resonate with type of things I like to do as a kid. I can certainly trace back the different ingredients in there to what I liked doing as a small kid. And the ingredients were looking at stars, infinite, you know, things about the infinite, right? Sort of a continuum and, you know, that you can also zoom in into something, a structure that it was still there and, you know, the, the notion of continuum and mixed with uh, randomness, right? Sort of how, how these two things come together. How could random structures still be continuum and how could you spread out randomness in a continuous way in space or time or something like that. I mean, it's, a bit, it's always a bit difficult to summarize one's research. We, we sort of try to explain to the outside world, you know, objective reasons why it is interesting, but it's not really the reason we ourselves are interested in. It's that, I mean, I, I, I like to work on the math, with the mathematical objects that I work with just because I like them. That's it, you know, I find them nice. I don't know if they are nice, right? But it's just, I just enjoying playing with them. And I remember like when I was in high school, we learned about Newton's law, you know, the forces and the earth turns around the sun and all things like that. And I always remembered uh, asking the, the teacher, okay, very fine, it works, you can do the computation, but how does the information flow from the sun to the earth? Uh, how does the earth know that it has to turn, you know? There's a force, that's fine, but you know, something has to travel between the two. And in some sense, I'm still playing with that. And, you know, what's traveling between the two, and uh, maybe it has to do a little bit with these Brownian notions and these uh, you know, collection of Brownian loops that you have over there. But that, that's sort of a way to sort of illustrate the type of questions that what I'm doing might be related to. Very often, if you ask someone about what they like in maths and what type of math they like, uh, you can certainly learn a lot, a lot about their personality and uh, what type of person they are. And so you see how, what a wide range, wide, wide range of personalities you might have, even within a given field.